Summer Abu Dhaka had his camera in his hand. He was wearing his helmet and his vest. Like Shirin Abu Akleh and so many others, he was easily identified as a member of the press. They can call the killing indiscriminate. But this isn't exactly true. When they're specifically targeting certain people in order to silence the news, they're killing off the journalists of Gaza day after day after day after day. Hoping they can hide their crimes this way. Ola Atala was slain last week, along with nine members of her family. They were taking shelter in someone else's home after fleeing Gaza City. Ayat Kadura died alongside an unknown number thus far. Her only dream now was to be killed in one piece so they would know who we are. They're killing off the journalists of Gaza day after day after day after day. Hoping they can hide their crimes this way. Mohammed Abu Hadab with Palestine TV dead with his family of 11. Mostawa El Sawaf was killed in another, along with his wife and two sons. Sari Mansour was killed in an airstrike on a refugee camp. Mohammed Abu Hasira, along with 42 relations, slaughtered with another familicidal stamp. They're killing off the journalists of Gaza, day after day after day after day. hide their crimes this way. They hope that if they kill the messengers, they can stop the message getting out. If they can smash all of the cameras, silence everyone trying to shout out to the world that might listen and see the horrors happening beneath the Palestinian skies the slaughter that for now we can still see with our eyes they're killing off the journalists of Gaza day after day after day after day hoping they can hide their crimes this way